I have got a very cheap um, mat here. <coughs> okay, and I want her to go onto the mat and signal to sit. Okay, right. So now this is whatever you can call it is like her play mat, her fun mat. So as you can see. You don't have to ask her to sit, she does it with the hand signal. Come rise. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come rise. On your mat. Well done, clever girl. So we want this to be a great place that she gets lots of attention and fuss when she's on her mat. And the reason I'm using the mat is for a specific purpose. Is I want to teach her to sit in the distance and come and the mat will be in between her and me. And then as I call her, as she reaches the mat, I will give her the signal for her to drop down. So the mat is the indicator I want you to drop down there and not carrying on running here. It's just a training tool. Eventually, I'll do away with the mat for that purpose. So I want to teach her that this is the signal for her to lay down. Okay, so two signals for the down. One is just point to the ground. When you're in the house, you just want to be able to point to the ground and make her lay down. But this is a very, very important signal. <coughs> she hasn't quite got it yet. She's nearly got it. Is that when I raise my arm in the air like this, I want her to lay down. And so this is the signal that I want you to drop into the down. And if you think when children are scared of a dog, up go the arms and they go, Mum, I'm scared. The arms, then the dog drops to the ground. So a child that you might meet outside that's nervous, when the arms go up, the dog drops to the ground. Or if they've got an ice cream, up goes the arm. We save the ice cream. Okay, so then up goes the ice cream, the dog drops to the ground. But ideally what you want is the dog to be running on ahead, playing, and then you blow the whistle, the dog starts coming back. If it's running into danger, you might want it to drop where it is. If there's a bike going across it or a child or something, whatever it is, it could be the dog running into danger, coming to you. And so you want to give it a signal to drop exactly where it is and wait. And then you can either call it out of the wait or continue and you go to the dog. So she's laying down now. It's backward training and saying this is the signal for what you're already doing. Good girl. Okay. This is the signal for what you're already doing. Getting her to use her brain. I want her to work it out. She will get it, I can promise you, she will get it. Oh, I bet you she doesn't do it on camera though. <laughs> but what you might notice is a nod of the head. Okay, I've seen it nearly, in... there you go, there you go. Oh, I've given it to her, I've given it to her because I got excited and I stopped her. <laughs> <laughs> but notice the nod of the head. <laughs> Let's see if she's got it. Yes, good girl, <laughs> clever puppy. Well done, <laughs> a clever puppy. Up <laughs> you come, go on then. Up you come, up you come, up you come. Any mat? Hand signal to sit. Okay, let's see if she does it again. Once they've got this, they've got it forever, really, trust me. 
I was on the beach there a little while ago and a Labrador came running up and sat in front of me and he was you know, getting on, middle-aged Labrador <laughs> and the woman shouted out, you trained him when he was 12 weeks old and I raised my arm, he dropped to the ground, never forgot it. So I'm just going to wait and see, if she, see the nod of the head. See, now by me talking to you, I'm ignoring her. I want her to work out how to get my attention. Okay, if she doesn't do it again, I'll bring her down. But she's like, oh, she's so close to getting it. I'll bring her down again. Yes, good girl, you're a clever puppy. Oh, you can. Okay, you can't really ache your arm though. <laughs> and then what you do it yes good girl well done you little star oh my goodness i love this puppy so much 13 weeks 13 weeks she is on uh, wednesday it's in, in sorry in two days time Signal to sit. Okay, watch her now. Get her on the mat. Doesn't have to be on the mat. <laughs> I'll carry on talking to you while she's working it out. <laughs> My arm is very achy. <laughs> see the nod? Can you see the nod? I'm not sure if you can or not. But it normally means they're thinking about it. Yes, good girl. You are a clever puppy. You are a clever puppy. <laughs> Always have good treats when you're working and work with them before you feed them their, their meal. Okay, um, puppy of this age, she's obviously having four meals a day. I'm just going to give it to her. Okay. <laughs> now, this is half a vet bed. I um, bought it and I've cut it in half. Um, and it's great. This is washed. And it, just to show you what it's like when it's washed. And she loves dragging that. <laughs> she kills that. <laughs> okay. Now, she plays with these. This. This is her favourite. Now this is Foxy Loxy. I called him Freddy earlier on. He's not Freddy, he's Foxy Loxy. Okay, she loves Foxy Loxy. And these bottle bags you get from the supermarket. They love these. <laughs> and they're tough, you know. Look, she loves that. And she loves Gerald the giraffe. She loves him. So these little toys these little ones, they're, they're, really, they're really handy because you want them to learn to carry stuff around. And there's Nelly Elephant, she loves him as well. These are her three favourites. There's Nelly Elephant, it rattles. You love Nelly, don't you? Which Nelly? Hmm? No, Gerald. Okay. <laughs> this is her new harness. Her other one is too small. And this is Cozy Dog Harness. And I got yellow. I was going for red. But her, um, the next size up is red. But the yellow. Now, if you're having any trouble putting the harness on, just lure them through it like this. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. She don't want to go out. So, can you see? And I just want to show you, come on, do a little pose for me. See where it goes here, then it goes in between her legs and up underneath here, her chest, and clicks on here, clicks on here, and clicks on here. And if you notice, it doesn't rub this bone here. A lot of um, harnesses, if they go across the chest here, 
they rub on this bone and bruise it. But this doesn't, look, it goes in between her legs. <laughs> she's, she's not really helping me here, is she? Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to finish the video here on a really good note. And I'll speak to you again in the next video. Bye for now.